Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Data Visualization for Fun. Uh, today's topic is about how to use a powerful tool called ORC, L-O-A-W-K or G-A-W-K in Bash Shell to uh, manipulate a table. Um, for example, here I want to delete a field of a table. So this uh, a table contains um, rows and columns. Um, here I'm going to show you an example. So I have this an example. I'm going to delete this. Uh, okay, so let's see what's in this sample. So the first uh, row is the header of this data set and second row from the second row on there are uh, the values for these um, different columns okay so you can see each row seems like uh, there are many columns let's see how many columns uh, does it have so we use awk print an F. An F means number of fields. Um, let's go data set and uh, head on one because uh, if only um, you type this uh, command line it will give you uh, the same number of rows um, uh, an F number. So I just want one uh, row so we use a head head uh, command to um, show just one line so let's see there are 300 fields in this table so for example I want to delete the third column or third field so instead of um, deleting uh, a field um, uh, you better use um, um, org or AWK to uh, take out the uh, fields you want to um, take or you want to leave. Um, so for example I want to delete the third field in other words I want the first and the second and uh, the fourth to the last fields. Okay, so we use AWK and uh, usually we use print a lot actually, but a printf is more um, powerful for uh, customizing formatting. So here I'm gonna use uh, printf. So printf first field we're gonna keep it and uh, uh, we're gonna say it uh, up uh, uh, separate I'll give a separator so the so separate by default it's space so here I'm gonna use a variable dash value OFS to tab tab I like tab so I'm gonna use a tab uh, backslash T means tab okay so uh, still I want the f second field and uh, the third field we're gonna take uh, remove it so um, here I'm gonna start from four to the last we, we use a for loop for and uh, usually I equal four and uh, um, I less or equal than an F because um, you, if you don't know uh, because sometimes um, you, you don't have for example you have a, four, a 200 or more or 400 or like whatever number of fields so you better use an F instead of 300 here so it's more um, portable 
and uh, I need I to uh, to increase for each loop. So then we're gonna give an I. Okay, before uh, this uh, dollar sign uh, I, so we should give a separate two. So that will be separated. So last, we need to give a new line for each row. So it's called a ORS, ORS variable. So ORS by default is a spa uh, is a new line, um, that uh, backslash n. So we gonna take the default value. So we are not gonna set up a new value here like we set uh, up OF. Uh, S. So last we're gonna give the data set name and we wanna uh, pipe the result to a new data txt and uh, we run it. Okay, let's see what's in this uh, new data set. Um, it seems like it's not the result we want, so we want to check the check the coder. Let's see. Oh, okay. So we've got a print. Never print f. Never forget the print f. Okay, we start again. We run again. Okay, let's see. What's in new data? Oh, okay. So we got. Seems like we got it, uh, what we want. So we check the uh, field. Check the number of field. So instead of example data set, we have new data here, and uh, we use the same command line to check. Oh, see, we got uh, the two hundred ninety nine. So one column. Um, one column is uh, missing, so or removed. So let's check if it's the third one. So let's check the uh, example data set. So this is the first field. Second, oh, let's go to the head. Okay, this is the third uh, column name, a field name. S the second field name third field name. So we're gonna check uh, if uh, 0366-01A is removed. So the reason I want to remove the third field is uh, because um, the third field uh, head name is um, the same as the four, fourth field name. So we want to remove the first one. So let's see the new data. Let's go to the head. Okay, so only 10366-01A field name left. That means uh, we should succeed. So let's also check at least one row data. So let's go back to the, let's go to the second row. Okay, one, two, three. It's um, originally it has uh, five thousand three hundred fifty-nine that dot blah blah, and uh, let's see this number if this number is removed in the second row of the new data set. Let's close it and uh, go to. Okay, it's right. So. Uh, the 5,300 number is removed between these two numbers. So I think it's success. Um, okay, so for example, right now I want to remove uh, uh, two rows or many rows. So you should use it the same way. For example, uh, I'm gonna go back to this command line for example, I want to uh, remove uh, um, many 
row many fields. So you need to, for example, I want to remove the 32 uh, 9, so we should st uh, modify the 4 to 10. So that means we're going to uh, remove the third, uh, third and uh, third to ninth fields. And uh, what if uh, the columns uh, or fields you want to remove are separate or not continuous? So the in the same use in the same way. So um, probably you use uh, multiple four loops, but uh, uh, these this method also works. So this is a powerful uh, way to manipulate um, a table. Um, that's uh, all for today. Thank you for watching. See you next time. If you like my video, subscribe it. Thank you.